Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam shows us how to install LM sensors. LM sensors? What kind of crazy program is this? Well, I'm not sure, but it sounds important. LM sensors allows you to view the temperature of some of your hardware. Uh, it also allows you to view voltage and uh, the speed of the fans in your hardware. So as long as your hardware is supported, uh, this is a great tool to monitor uh, temperature and some other critical information. So I pretty much just use this program for uh, CPU usage. Uh, it's not quite as helpful for my desktop because uh, that runs pretty cool most of the time, but for my laptop it's nice to see when that temperature spikes potentially. So uh, LM sensors uh, is kind of like the back end. It's command line driven. We'll get into more into this in a minute. But I'll just show you some of the other cool programs you can run on top of LM sensors. Uh, like this is called um, a P sensor. Uh, this will be for a, a later video. I'll show you how to actually install this. But it all begins with detecting and probing your actual hardware. So that's what we're going to do today. And so I'm going to do this in Ubuntu's Unity 12.04. Uh, this should work with any desktop environment with Ubuntu 12.04, XFCE, Awesome Windows Manager, uh, KDE, whatever, as long as you're running Ubuntu 12.04 as the base. So let's get started. Uh, go to your dash. Uh, basically, you just need to bring up a terminal. Um, you can do this from the, uh, the Ubuntu store, but... Um, I just choose to uh, actually install this program through the terminal. Uh, so if you want, you can go to the Ubuntu Software Center, look up LM sensors, and just install it that way. But uh, we're going to do it the command line way, just because I find it a lot more efficient. So we're going to do sudo apt get install. By the way, uh, at this point, you should know exactly what all of this means. If not, I'll look at some of my older videos to see what exactly you're typing into the terminal. And then we just need to type in LM sensors. So what this will do is this will just install the program and let it install. Okay, at this point after it's installed, you may be tempted to just type in LM sensors and see what comes up. And what will happen is say uh, command not found. This is because LM sensors is the name of the package, but it's not the name of the command in order to get everything to work. So you might be tempted to just type in sensors. Then we get an error saying no sensors found. Make sure you load all the kernel drivers you need. Try sensors detect to find out which these are. So basically the sensors detect actually probes everything and gets everything set up uh, to, I guess, to read inside the kernel. I'm not entirely sure, but basically it sets everything up so that way um, uh, you can actually uh, uh, read your hardware and figure out the temperature for the hardware that is actually compatible with this program. And then once you do that, then you are able to install other programs that have nice graphical user interfaces and all these other fancy things uh, that allow you to see temperature. So the very first thing we need to do is we actually need to do sensor detect. Now, it's going to actually uh, give an error. I'll show in a second. You need to be root. So make sure you are actually running as root. And then you can read all the information uh, as we start detecting stuff. So basically the first detection will be for the CPU. Uh, I do apologize, this is command line driven, but uh, this is how this program works. So uh, the first part of the program will detect uh, CPUs, I believe, in any memory uh, controllers. So just type in yes if you want this detected. It's very safe. Now you will see when you look through mine, it says nothing was detected. That's because I'm running this in VirtualBox, and I'm not quite sure if it'll actually be able to detect my sensors in VirtualBox, which is perfectly fine. Um, I did this on my main system, but uh, these are basically the prompts that you will see. So hopefully uh, one of these will say yes, um, and that means that your CPU uh, was detected. Now, me personally, I just wanted this for the CPU temperature. Uh, if you want, you, know, you can go through the rest of these and, and decide if you want to probe these or not. Um, it'll tell you if it's safe. Uh, the first one's definitely safe, according to the program, and then the rest of them, uh, they get progressively more, uh, may cause issues later on. So uh, I have not had any issues with this program, but just make sure you read and understand what you're actually probing 
and uh, why you may want to probe this. So uh, the input output ports, you want to probe these, um, that's up to you. Uh, we can say yes, because I'm just doing this in VirtualBox. Uh, this next one, I guess, is for uh, servers, according to the program, uh, you know, what the heck. And then you can see if you want to do uh, ISA uh, input output ports, um, sure. Then this last one, um, I've never actually probed because uh, it says it has been reported to cause trouble on some systems. So um, honestly, as I said, I've only wanted this for the CPU temperature. So uh, I've always said no to this. Again, if you think this is something important, you can say yes, use it at your own risk. But uh, I've always said no to this uh, line. Okay, and I quickly just jumped over to my main system just so you can see this is what will happen. It will say success there. Uh, and then eventually we will get to this prompt uh, once you've gone through everything all the questions of what you want to probe and I'll just say hit enter to continue so I believe at this step what it will automatically do is it will automatically add the correct uh, file or the actual the correct text in your configuration file to uh, have this set up automatically so what you would have to do at this point is and I've already done this you'd have to say do you want to add these lines automatically to your ETC uh, modules uh, file you would say yes uh, and then you should be good to go now at this point you may need to restart your system um, uh, in order for this to take an effect but uh, once you restart your system then uh, open up a terminal again and then we are just going to type in sensors and with any luck uh, you should see um, uh, the temperature of your uh, stuff that you probe so you can see this is my stuff uh, not all of this works which is fine uh, the voltage and all that stuff uh, I really don't care about uh, I don't even know if it's the right driver to be honest with you um, I'm just more interested in the uh, in the cores so uh, uh, and then this is nice because it also gives you I guess um, uh, what is the high and what's critical uh, but you can also look that up uh, uh, for your particular uh, uh, chip for your CPU chip and see uh, what's a, what's a decent temp temperature for it to be running at Now the only bad thing about this uh, particular uh, sensor program right now as it is is it's not continually running it's not continually updating it just took a very very quick snapshot so uh you know if uh this isn't nice because um see now it jumped up uh, a degree compared to what it was but uh, it'd be nice if this was running every uh, seconds or or whatever so uh, there's a couple ways we can do this we could write a script or we could just use a a program and i'll show you how to do both in the next video well hopefully you found this video helpful uh, next week we will pick up where we left off i'll show you how to install a graphical user program in order to see your temperatures and and see them continually run and i'll also show you how to write a very quick script now it'll be very advanced i won't go through all the details of it but uh it'll at least uh get you started in writing scripts well hopefully you found this video helpful uh be sure to check out my website greenhornlinux.com thanks for watching